Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. I am Pip for those of you who are new and I do videos on wellness, lifestyle and faith. Today I am going to be talking about 10 things I do not buy or own. This video is generally done by minimalists. I am definitely not a minimalist. I love the things that I do own, that they are on more the minimal side and I try to be more minimal. But I am for sure not a minimalist with the things I own. Without further ado, let's get into the video. So the first thing I do not buy is sweet drinks. So this includes soft drinks, Gatorades or juices or smoothies. I just do not buy them. Generally, I will just take my water bottle around so I have no need for a drink, which helps me not buy them. But they are also not very good for your health if you're having them all the time. I personally just don't like these drinks. And as I said in my previous video, which I will link down below, which is, is explaining my diet and how I actually eat. I try to stay away from refined sugar, which is pretty much everything that is in, in a sweet drink. So that is just one thing that I do not buy. Another thing I don't buy is fast fashion. So generally my clothes will last me three or four years, sometimes even five. I tend to get pieces that are quite timeless and that don't go by trends or styles that are in. I've never quite done that. I've never enjoyed shopping. I actually try and avoid clothes shopping at all costs. So the clothes that I do own, I make sure that they are versatile and go with absolutely everything so I can avoid the shops as much as possible. I think a lot would say that my wardrobe is quite small and the clothes that I do own, there aren't many of them. So I might do a capsule wardrobe video in the future, but in general, if I do buy clothes, I try to get them more ethical and sustainably made because far the fast fashion industry is just horrific and I do not want to support something that is so bad and is so harmful to so many people. I can link a video below by Sarah Therese who explains why she doesn't fast fashion. And I found that super informative and I really liked it. So if you want to know more about fast fashion, I will link that down below. But in general, I just do not buy fast fashion and I try and stay away from it as much as possible. Another thing that I do not buy is uh, fast food and takeout. I just don't like fast food and takeout. I have general fast food around my house is KFC, McDonald's, Hungry Jacks, um, and probably a lot more that I don't know about. I don't like the food and I don't like what's in the food. A lot of it is unknown. And I just prefer to make the food at home. And if I'm going out for the day, I'll probably take something with me or I'll go somewhere that I know has a more healthy alternative and I like. Another thing that I do not buy and on majority I do not own is makeup, makeup wipes and perfume. Dancing two years ago so I actually do have some makeup left over from that as a just in case makeup which I probably should throw away because I just do not wear it. But on the whole I don't really wear makeup, I don't wear it to school, I don't wear it around the house, I just don't like it on my face, I don't like how it feels. I do own mascara and I will wear mascara if I am going to school or going out but on the whole I don't like foundation or concealer or eyeshadow or anything like that. It's just not my thing, never has been and probably won't be. The perfumes I do own uh, to, um, were gifted to me for my birthday and Christmas and they are quite expensive so of course I will not throw them out. I don't I never I never actually reach for them and wear them so they just sit on my shelf and if I feel like I'm going to a very fancy event or going out 
that I may put it on, but I prefer not to. Having no makeup and no perfume and things like that was, I grew up with it, so we never actually had makeup or perfume or anything, so I just don't reach for them now. Uh, it's not something that I try to not do or trying to teach myself not to do, it just was never something I did in the first place. So I'm not saying that having makeup or having these things is bad, it's just something that I do not buy and generally do not own and just don't reach for. Another thing I do not own and generally do not buy are knickknacks. I don't actually have a lot of space in my room so having knickknacks would just take up the available space that I do have. I do have some memorabilia pieces that my mum got me from overseas or I got from overseas myself things just from my childhood that I really enjoy but on the whole I don't have meaningless or knacks just to fill up a space. It's not, I prefer to have more open spaces and just to be able to go around and not have all this clutter on my walls. So I do not buy all bags, purses or jewellery. I have one bag, one purse and probably three things of jewellery, one of which I wear. I don't actually like jewellery so it's not a big thing for me. I don't like things on my wrists, I don't like things, I don't have my ears pierced and I prefer not to have something on my neck but I do like wearing my cross. The one bag I do own is this leather one. It's quite small, like it's probably the size of my hand, um, which my mum got me from Hungary when she went overseas. I did specifically ask her for this because I knew that I probably should have a bag <laughs> to carry my things in, not that I particularly have many things to carry. So I specifically asked her for something small that I could just fit a phone and a wallet and keys in and that is it. I don't want to have to fill up my bag with things that are uh, with clutter that I actually don't reach for and I don't use and that I'm uh, carrying around for situations that I think may happen that never actually do. Generally don't even reach for this bag that I own uh, and that's because I find that if my things are in a bag I will leave it everywhere. So I have left my bag in restaurants, in the shopping centre and probably more places but that I cannot remember uh, so if I don't have a bag and they're in my hands and I can't put them down, then they're not going to be left anywhere. So it's more of a safety thing for myself not to even have a bag. I only have one wallet, which I do want to get another one to replace the one that I have. Because the one that I have is good and it's practical, but it kind of doesn't look very nice. So I couldn't take it out on to dinner or to an event because it's not the best looking. It is, so that is one thing that I do want to get another one of but only because I'm replacing something else. So another thing that I do not buy or own is bottled water or plastic bottles. So it is widely known that bottled water is bad for the environment because it is a quite large production of plastic bottles which then get into the environment and cause detriment to a lot of um, natural life. So just for that reason alone, I do not like to buy plastic bottles or bottled water. I do own a um, metal water bottle. This one is 1.1 litres because I like to have the maximum amount of litres possible so I'm not always filling up my water bottle. This one is from Clean Canteen. It is very dented because of course when you drop metal it dents. I really like this drink bottle because it is quite light considering that it is holding one litre but it is very usable and user friendly and I can reuse it for many years to come and it will not degrade or cause harm to the environment. So plastic bottles and bottled water is something that I just don't like to buy. So another thing that I do not buy are beauty services. So that is waxing, brows, eyelashes, manicures, pedicures, all of that kind of thing. I just don't have a use for it and I 
never had them when I was growing up, so I just don't reach for them now. I can do my brows at home, I can shave my own legs, I don't need someone else to wax them for me. If I want to paint my nails, which I rarely do, I can paint them myself for half the price or even um, for a quarter of the price with a nail polish that I picked out from, from a chemist or from Big W or something. And they are very cheap, so there is no need to spend a lot of money getting someone else to do it for me. With eyelashes, I do like to get my eyelashes tinted for special events or if I'm going on holiday and I do not want to wear mascara so I will just do that at home and my mum will do it for me. We have all the equipment and it is quite um, easy to do it by yourself. Another thing that I do not buy or own is tech accessories. So that is pop sockets, Apple watches, Fitbits, all of that kind of thing. I just don't own it. I prefer to save that money that can be put towards something else rather than making my life easier in a way that I don't really need it to be easier. So with a pop socket, I don't need that because I can just hold my phone myself without having something on the back for me to hold onto. I don't need an Apple Watch because my phone itself does exactly what an Apple Watch does and I only bought it once. And for a Fitbit, I just don't need one. I have never needed one. And if I really need to know how many steps I do or anything else, I can do it on my phone and it does the exact same thing. And the tenth thing that I do not buy or own are memberships, coupons or promotions or sponsorship kind of things. Um, I have no need for these. I find that especially with the memberships and coupons and stuff, it's just filling up your wallet with things that you don't really need and it's also filling up your inbox with emails or promotions and things that you really don't want and you're wading through all these emails just to get to the ones that you actually do need to reply to. So if I do go for a membership, so at the moment I have a membership to a workout app and I actually sat down and thought about am I actually going to use this app to its full potential and get my full money's worth from this app. So if I'm not, then of course I'm not going to get it and if I think that I am, then I will just sure I have the time um, set out in my week to do these workouts or whatever I'm paying membership for. So I'm not just getting this membership and then I get too busy to actually use the membership. Um, but on the whole, I will not buy membership subscriptions, coupons or promotions or any of that. So they are 10 things that I do not buy or own because I have no need for them or I'm trying to be more minimalistic. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, uh, be sure to give it a thumbs up and comment down below something that you are trying to be a bit more minimal with or are minimal with right now. I upload videos every week, so be sure to hit the subscribe button and the bell button so you are notified every single time that I upload a video. And that is it from me, so I'll see you next time.